previously on Judgment. It's time to end this <sighs> with one last fist. Do you do? Oh, that's the best way to possibly end this. Oh, dick punch. And now back to. <laughs> Go B, back with some more judgment. When we last left off, we met up with Yabe, who believes that at some point uh, the previous night when Shinatani was killed, uh, he was knocked out and had his gun stolen. And then they actually had the gun put back and even replaced the bullet that was used, or I guess maybe they used their own bullet or something to make it look like the gun wasn't even fired, which is damn. That is definitely the work of some serious professional. But now trying to figure out how to get him off the hook is uh, the real tough part. So we're gonna talk with uh, Matsugane because uh, we're pretty sure Hamura is gonna be, uh, is gonna know something about where uh, the mole might be or, or what's going on, right? But we don't know where he is. Um, oh yes, yeah, so and of course we also ran into a guy with a John Dick. <laughs> John Dick was a virgin though. <laughs> you know what? It sort of even hit me. Like that guy was an old dude, right? Like. I feel like timeline wise, it actually possibly matches up to how old Mr. Libido would be in this game, right? After all those years, right? It was probably like in his like 30s or 40s or something in uh, Yox Zero. And like, what, 30, year, 30 some years later, 40 some years later, he'd be, he'd be around this age, right? It's totally possible. He just got really jacked and decided that the diaper just was, he didn't need it anymore, all right? He's just gonna go full in the nude. <laughs> but as you guys actually point out, so the, the whole girlfriend thing, um, it just, it wasn't actually that the game introduced it so late. It was because I actually ended up uh, avoiding it for so long, basically. Like, even the one I ended up getting here was Tsukino was actually, was one of the late girlfriends you can get. So it's actually your girlfriends I could have already gotten up to this point, but it took till now to get it. Apparently, like the, I think you said the earliest one is in chapter three. So, oh, okay, well, shit. I've been missing out on a big part of the game. I guess that's what I get for skipping so many of these damn side cases for a while. Put them on the back burner. And I'm guessing that's probably where a lot of these come in. But apparently in total, I think you said there were four or five uh, girlfriends. Uh, oh, no, yeah, four four girlfriends. But it's, it's interesting. So you can actually, you can date them and you go up in rank. And apparently the fifth rank is where they will, yeah, where you have to make your choice whether they'll be your girlfriend or not. So uh, uh, you guys recommended that I honestly should probably uh, get all the girls to like rank four. Just get that far, get a good feel of, for their personality and in the end pick my one true waffle and i like that all right bring it back the persona 5 stuff baby apparently there isn't actually any like you don't get penalized if you did date them all but uh, apparently yagami does feel kind of guilty about it and you know what it's fine it's more fun this way anyway we'll pick our favorite girl we'll stick with it but Sakita was pretty cute. She was pretty funny. You know, she was always getting caught in rather, unfortunately, pervy situations. It's interesting. I, I, w I would have actually thought maybe that uh, fortune teller would be uh, one of my girlfriend's. I don't know. I guess it's a possibility that that quest line isn't over, but it did kind of seem like it with that one guy going to jail. But uh, anyway, last episode, uh, Combat Rock said, Yagami didn't kill anyone. It was just the heart attack. You know, I can think of another Yagami who might make that excuse. Oh my God. God damn it, guys. Sometimes you are just too clever for your own fucking good. You know that? <laughs> so good. That's so fucking good. Didn't even occur to me, but that is just brilliant. God, I love when shit like that just comes together, don't you? See that comment was just like, yeah, I totally meant to do that. Kamara, <laughs> thank you for pointing out the hilarity of that situation. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. God dang it, you guys just crack me up sometimes. You know that? Like that comment gave me a chuckle, but really just, it was just so freaking clever that I was like, this has to go, this has to be the comment of the day. This, this is a smart ass comment. <laughs> this guy's hella fucking woke. But yeah, actually, he has even pointed out that actually in my Camaro Go app, uh, somewhere here, it actually points out that I, the, the girlfriends? It's actually part of the completion thing. Oh, was that? Did I miss it? I do have some question mark ones here. Maybe it's maybe it's these. Oh no! Right there. It's it's in the actual on the stats here. I didn't. I haven't really looked down here too much, but it's, you see on the side there, you, girlfriend zero out of four. Ah, I see. Okay. God, one of the completion things seems to be trying to to create all the drone parts. So even all the ones you don't really need or care about. Jesus Christ, that would take forever. Well, I did, something I didn't notice though last episode was the Sakino actually is in my messages here. So I was curious to see, can I, can I type anything to her? Oh, I can't. Hmm, okay, so I guess I just wait for her to reach out to me then? 
at some point. I don't long have to wait though. It's already been a while. So since I actually gotta find a way to meet Masagane, but I don't see anything on my map telling me where to go. So maybe I just gotta go meet with one of my pals or something. But uh, in the meantime, uh, it's probably a good time to uh, start uh, getting some of these side quests done. Well, I suppose I could just go to the office itself, right? I mean, it's on the map. Maybe that's what it expects me to do. There's actually a case right next to it as well. But first, real quick, let me go stop and uh, see what's going on with the uh, the candy store guys. Are being harassed by the Yaksa again? Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, God, come on, guys. I'm already about to beat up more of you guys when I help out the candy store, dude. I don't need you guys to also be here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. don't mind that I borrowed your signboard, candy store guy. Holy shit. Yes, thank you, thank you, Ryan. Thank you for blowing up their dead bodies. God, these guys are persistent. All right, today's the day for sure. I'll get that money out of you no matter what. Yeah, we'll be leading on you, Moki, making ass for far too long. That reminds me. What's some more of that Moki from last time? It was so good, I practically mouthed in my mouth. Although it was a little hard to taste it with all the blood mixed in from that ass beating I got. <laughs> oh, those, uh, I'm glad you joined them. They really are a treat. Dude, play more available this time around. You can buy as much as you like. Good, good. I'll take one of each. You know what? Let's take the whole batch. Give it to me. And then not again. Uh, These guys. <laughs> Sucks me him. No. no, no, no. You people really don't give up, huh? Uh, Damn straight. You're going down to... <laughs> it's amazing I always seem to time it when you guys arrive. Would you look at that? Got 10 of my boys with me. So I'll be practically unstoppable. For God's sakes. Did you not see me spin kick half your boys before? I only spend more effort into it this time. Yamato, oh my god. It's starting to turn into a Dynasty Warriors game. All right, down to kick ass. You know what's coming, right? Here we go. And slide. And twirl. Woo! Can you guys do that? No, then get the fuck out of my dumb demon way. Ugh. Well, that fucking spin he does, too. Like, oh. oh, my God. Love it. Fucking love it. Oh. Come on. What's wrong, guys? They still see me going your way. Oh, my God. They got to chuck the motorbike at me. Well, you know what? I can fucking do that. Well, wait. Maybe not. Oh, God. I guess I can only do it to certain motorbikes. Oh, what, you're gonna kick something at me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick something at you, bitch. Boom. <laughs> I remember Fat Guy's always doing this in uh, previous Yakuza games. I don't think I, I don't think I could do it though until this game. At least I don't think. I don't remember Kiryu actually having that ability. Alright. But this isn't the last one either, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be at least one more after this, based on the guy's progression bar. Yeah. For the last time, stop bothering this guy. Stop getting in my way. I want his candy and his friendship. Do you understand? Oh. You know, if you really like my sweets that much, you just have some. Here, it's on me today. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what the? What the fuck? Was that a quagmire reference? He, all right. Now it makes the taste of your special sweet bean paste. You're gonna become best friends by the end of this. Miki, we have equally forgotten our mission. Uh -huh. Don't give a damn no more. I decided from here on out. I'm gonna give my life to support this shop. Then here you go. Don't eat all one bite now. <laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> he just totally ignored the fact that I beat the shit out of him for the third time. Snatchies. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Now let's head back to the office. Yes, sir. Right away, sure. sir. Oh, yeah? Make sure to line up here tomorrow and buy me some more of them sweets, boy. Nikki, what do you say? Did I start? No, sir. Not at all, sir. Oh, man, that was the last one. I don't know. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, at least he's a fan of the shop now. Thanks again, Yagami-san. Third time's a charm, as they say. <laughs> Oddly enough, yeah. Hello. Oh, and if you like, you can have this as well. Takamitsu's Sakura, Sakura Moki. Hmm. I don't think I've ever actually had Moki before, but it sounds good. I can. Thanks. What you, actually is it? <laughs> is Moki? Is it like a type of chocolate or like it's some kind of confectionery? Where's Ruka when you need her? That's right, she's fucking dead. Stacy have to make a Yakuza. Forget about this pr protection racket. And then it must be must be something special. 
I was like, like desserts to make a coral disappear. That's the magic of a traditional Japanese sweet shop. Don't I know it? Huh. We'll do appreciate your kindness. Uh, oh, no, that was it. Uh, huh, it kind of faked me out there. But just give me a th one third of the bar last time. I think they actually do that intentionally. So just so you don't know exactly what it's going to end. No worries. I'm just glad those goofballs finally clean up their act. I can go make your monkey in peace. Oh, you know, something just occurred to me. I got through the, the drone racing thing and I didn't get another painting to give to the uh, the pawn shop guy. That's where I thought I'd probably end up getting it. So where do I get it then? I mean, I'll find it in like a mission or something? Thanks to you at any rate. Well, let's we'll start preparation for tomorrow. So hope to see you again. Just take care. This is selling it like another shop like Don Quixote or something. Uh, who's this? I wonder who could possibly be. Bad news. Fucking God damn it. <sighs> Shut up, Kim, you sack of shit. I'm so done with you. All right, well, let's go and talk to my uh, my nerdy friend here and see what he, uh, see what he wants. Oh, hey, Sukumo. What brings you out into the real world? <laughs> yeah, just something that piqued my curiosity. What could possibly be curious? You'd possibly be curious about that. A search engine couldn't tell you. Oh, I picked up on this electromagnetic wave with a weird frequency. It's not normal radios or taxis or anything. Mm -hmm. An electromagnetic wave. <laughs> Don't let me explain it. Yeah, I was bored anyway, so I figured I'd come check it out. <laughs> Gotta be the only guy who would leave his house to check out an electromagnetic wave. <laughs> hmm, block number. Is this the bomber again? Should I answer it? Oh. He's, oh, is he actually gonna be involved with this one? The, my nerdy friend. Who are you? No, oh, 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 I wasn't expecting this to be the, the continuation of the bomber mission. Ha, huh, shall we get straight to it, Yagami-san? Ah, uh, fine. Turn to the mad bomber. Third time's the charm, right? How many times do we need to go through this? You have a grudge against me or, any, or something? A grudge? You are the one who started this, Yagami-san. You just saw him the first bomb, remember? Would have gone off without a hitch. But you just had to go and play hero. You're out of your damn mind. Shut up. No more talk. Let's let's do this. There's a new bomb in Kamurocho. Just one. Stop it if you can, dumbass. Your hint is. The pigeon coos among the cherry blossoms. It's more and more cryptic. What does that even mean? Yagamishi. Yeah, you seem kind of tense, Yagamishi. Who are you talking to? I'm guessing maybe he'll give me tips or something with this one. Sorry, Sakumo. I don't have time to explain. See you later. <laughs> uh, I was asked because I was curious. Asked because that electromagnetic wave I was tracking just spiked. Oh, no. He, he's going to be the one to trace where this guy is. Huh? Could be a coincidence, but I think you're you're up to something, Yagamishi. Listen, Sakumo. Somewhere in Kamurocho there's a bomb set to blow in the next five minutes. Oh. A bomb? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I remember that explosion a little while back. The copper keeps calling me. <laughs> Ah, now it all makes sense. Fascinating. This electromagnetic wave is probably your bomb. Seriously? You can use that signal to track down where he is. Heh, <laughs> easy peasy. You should probably, or my bomber, I think is what he said. You should still probably go stop it though. But speaking of magnets, you're a real magnet for trouble, Yagamishi. Don't I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet you. The crazy shit's been finding me. <laughs> anyway, make it happen, Sakumo. It's just a regular day in Kamarucho land. All right, well, Sakuma handles that. I need to figure out this pigeon queuing in the cherry blossoms. Okay, let's have a look-see around. The The past few were, were actually based off of, uh, like, the names of shops. I don't know if this final one will be the same thing. Uh, pigeon queuing, oh, maybe it means, like, the, the drone races or something? Or maybe the top of Millennium Tower or something? Yeah, let's, let's give that a try. Uh, up here? Anything? You're all gonna die, maybe. Uh no, no, I guess not. The pigeon oh shit, not good. Pigeon oh, he's actually getting oh they give me clues. That's good. A uh, hint. Ayaki Tori place? A popo? Pigeon queuing. Popo Oh, Popo, the convenience store. Game okay, conference is like four of them. Which one is it? Turn boss should narrow it down. Oh, Pink Street. Wait, pink. Turn boss some pink. There's a popo on the pink street. Uh, am I... I'm not on it. That's good. That's, that's actually nice that it, like, once you start running out of time, you, uh... It does give you a way to solve it. Yeah, I was definitely not on the right track this time. That was definitely a bit harder. I don't... Wait, how did the... I'm still not really sure how the... How did the pigeon and the popo come into play exactly? Come on, people. We're all gonna die. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? Over here? 
No? Guys, let me in. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna demon die. No, 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 not, not, not you. No, no. No. Wait, is this the wrong one? This is it right here. Oh, is it because I'm in a fucking battle? Damn it. Get out of here. Feel the fire. Don't worry. Popo guy, I'm going to save you. Ah. Don't worry. Believe it or not, I'm actually saving you right now. Oh, good. I got to use this pay play pass. Hello? There we go. <laughs> okay, let me walk back in. And it's all back together again. Fishing cues among the cherry blossoms. Had to be this popo on Pink Street, right? Where's the bomb? Ah, fuck, right there. Hanging up by the umbrellas. Why did nobody else see this? There, I found it. It's even right by the counter. How the job you not see it? I hear the beeping. Just gotta rip the cord out like last time. I think I would just change the design of these bombs. To where it just blows up when I rip it out. Problem solved, right? That should do it. The countdown stopped. Unless he wants me to figure it out. Uh, excuse me, sir. What exactly, exactly are you doing? Huh? Oh, it, it's nothing. <laughs> what are you? What are you holding? Is that a bomb? Ah! It, no, wait. This isn't. Ah! You're the bomber, are you? Please, somebody help! Hey, no, no. Calm down. I'm a detective, not a bomber. Um, indeed, this man's not the bomber. Not at all. Sakumo, good timing. Just track the guy down. <laughs> Did you even doubt it? Yeah, it's that guy. The electromagnetic waves are coming straight from him. Eh? What? <laughs> it turns out it was him the whole time. What the fuck? No, oh, not bad, you too. Quite the detective. <laughs> That's why he was wearing that dark mask. <laughs> I was like, this guy looks weird. This guy seems suspicious. You, tired of your games. The cops are going to want to discuss a few things, so you're coming with me. We'll take another step. See this. What the fuck? Are you crazy? I am crazy. Shit. Haha, uh -huh. quite a sight, isn't it? You see, I am the last bomb. What are you trying to pull? What do you gain by blowing yourself up? The style security is trash, and I need to make them see that. What do you mean? Well, this guy was apparently fired from a security firm three months ago. Does that answer your question? You're fast. And yes, I'm going to teach those money-grubbing sons of bitches a lesson they won't soon forget. I gave everything I had to this city. Created a detailed pro proposal to revamp this entire city's security. They just laughed at the cost. It's clear these assholes won't do shit until things so something serious happens. You can talk all you want, but I think we both know all you really want is revenge. Revenge has nothing to do with it. I'm sacrificing myself to show the people of Kamo to the truth. And with that, bombs away, bitch! Oh, fuck me. No, no sir. I'm a power up. Oh, good. Looks like you're just really bad at making bombs. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I think not good, sir. I'm afraid that won't work. I hacked into your transmitter and changed the frequency, bitch. Nani? <laughs> you're done. Come quietly. Oh, hell no. I'm not going down without a fight. Sure about a gun or something. Oh, well. <laughs> Try not to punch the bomb, by the way. Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking wreck this shop again. Damn it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, he's so fast. Oh, God. Ah. Ah, I can't hit him. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not the condoms. Ah. Are you even trying to hit me? Shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm helping. Am I helping, store, store clerk lady? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Kill him, Bomber Man! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm the hero now. <laughs> I'm actually almost dead, though. That's not good. Ah, oh, Mr. Bomber Man, you got some moves. Also, I think I've probably <laughs> lost quite a bit of HP from some of these previous fights. Ah. Uh, there you go. You're safe now, ma'am. Get the fuck out of my shop! I thought I was your friend. Thank God that's over. Aw, oh, dicks! Stupid, useless bomb vest! We go now to breaking news. The man suspected of the bombing incident in Kamurocho has finally been apprehended. 
A suspect, Ryu, Ryu Hasaka, a 34-year-old convenience store em employee, was fired from his security firm earlier this, this year. According to police, the rejection of Asaka's security proposal was the motive for his actions. Asaka's private residence has been searched, and we are told some explosive devices have been deactivated. Where are we even looking right now? I know, this, is there like a TV somewhere? A radio? <laughs> that sounds like this is all wrapped up. Oh, you want Sakumo? Not at all. I was like saying straight out of a fucking video game. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sukumo. This is real life, okay? Now I'm gonna go play my Paradise VR game and win literally millions of dollars. Well, you hungry? It's my treat. <laughs> yeah, nah, no need to yag me. I've actually got a date with a lady friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Is this another one of your digital lady friends? What? Seriously? I fixed the issue where she was having with her phone at the Net Cafe. Now she wants to fuck. She likes her men short, gross, and nerdy. You're so grateful we're having dinner. Yeah. Damn. For real? And you're going dressed like that? She's weird, Yagami. She likes me just the way I am. Even said I was cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Just stop. <laughs> wow. Are you? Is this girl a serial killer? Probably, but it's okay. Might see me at the 12 o'clock news later. Bye, Yagami. Wow, are you some kind of ladies' man in your circle, Sukumo? Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? I should stay on the F F5 key because my ass is refreshing. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, just for that, you're getting flux vision. Oh, for... Next time I'm letting you get blown up. <laughs> should let that guy take us both out. <laughs> And oh god, there's another one right here. You know, I think this is the one I actually figured would, would be the actual bomb case. Just where the fuck were we looking? Oh, oh. There actually is a giant uh, TV here. It's like we were staring at a wall. <laughs> is that wall talking to us? I swear to god. Uh, well, should be something around here. Uh, speaking of which, is that the guy I just apprehended? We go now to a story on Tatsuya Gamo, the sick convict from Hokkaido's upper. upper Shiri Prison. But first, local convenience store destroyed in an attempt to stop bad bomber. Vandal is still on the loose. Ah, shit. Well, looks like I'm leaving town again. Convicted of murdering a, a, a member of a criminal organization three years ago, Gamo's sentence had only just begun. However, oh, police are calling for caution after he was found to have escaped at dawn on the 5th of last month. According to reports released by Tokyo PD today, there is reason to believe he may be sheltering, be sheltering Kamarocho. So that's just the place to go. Look at all these people just... <laughs> there must be like a... When you when you start these missions, there must be like a ring or something. An invisible wall that forms around you. And when the the NPCs of the of the city come towards it, they immediately turn around. <laughs> Dude, okay, so watch. Gonna go over here? No. Oh. oh, wait. He's going further than the other one, I think. Oh, well, now oh, there we go. Holy shit, that guy's watching TV. Better turn the fuck around. I was asking any signs that I'm over here part immediately and urging citizens to take precautions. It's worth knowing that there is a 1.2 million yen reward for him for the least was capture. Burger fugitive! Yikes. Another day in the life here in Kamurocho, huh? I suck to run to that guy. Or would it or would it actually be the best day of my life? 1.2 million. I might be able to pay back my landlady. Or I could just dump all that money into watching a building get taller. Hmm. Yeah, definitely the building. For a reward that big, probably worth keeping an eye out at least. And the first person I see in my life is the guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm actually glad that didn't just happen. So, where where is it? See around here? Uh, I don't see anything. Search for Gamo. Well, I might as well poke my head here in uh, a shop. Oh my god, can we finally do things? Fucking Kim. I think finally we can do shit. Oh, the beef song. Get ready, Good. bitch. Huh, funny as always. How's business these days, Kim-san? Can I finally eat here? You're like the only place I haven't completed. Yup, here we go. Kim won soon. If I become your best friend, will you stop calling me? It'll be honest, it's a little rough. A lot of customers have gone over to Kamurai, our main competitor. Well, Kamurai is pretty popular. Can you think of anything that would help us stay competitive? Mm -hmm. Not sure if I can just make it rain ideas, but I'll try. First off, what is Kamurai really known for in the first place? Mm -hmm. Let's see, it's a high-end restaurant, so it's probably more geared towards entertaining clients or fancy dates. Rather than making a big fancy menu, they stick to a small selection of only the choicest meats on the market. They don't seem to do anything we're unreputable as a business either. Gotcha. Yeah, no. Is that information helpful at all? Mm. No, now stop calling me. <laughs> yeah, let me think there. 
Uh, it's just a family special. It's just adding desserts. It's just free rice refills. It's just dropping prices. Um, it's just a uh, family special. Why not make a family special? Large parties like families tend to rack up a higher bill, which equates to more profit. It's true that Comrade is a bit more on the luxury side, but it's also losing out on a big demographic by leaving out families. This could be your chance to corner the market. <laughs> wow, I really know your stuff. Sure you weren't a restaurant manager before. I think I've already said that. My amateur advice really make a difference in the long run. It's all fine soon enough. And if not, he'll go out of business and die a lonely, painful death out in the streets. And uh, I won't ever have to fucking deal with this shit again. The damn fucking cotton gang. And I, I, still can't, I still can't buy food here either. But it's it's actually a completion thing, I, I think. You can definitely buy stuff here at some point. Just it's so weird that I, like, I can't even get food here until, like, I've befriended him? I guess. Actually, really do need some food because I'm about to die. Oh, so there's another. Where is that? It's like another friendship event right here. Is it above him? Oh, it's over up here. Here we go. Oh, right. I think I actually started this one. And we also got some cases up here. Uh, oh, wait. No, I haven't started this one. Hey, not I'm going to your party, sir. Just me. God, all these, all these food vendor people are starting to blend together. Seriously, how many different cafe people have I made friends with? Okay, party of one. Please follow me. There was that one guy who was like fucking up his orders because he kept mm -hmm. thinking about a girl or something. I, I don't think I've, I don't think I've completed that one yet, or have I? I, I don't know. You would have to be new here, would you? Hi. Oh yes, I just start part time. Oh, man. oh wait, maybe this is. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe. Is that in a different place? I don't know. I, I thought this was the, that location, honestly. My name's Bihara Shima. I've heard that name before. It's supposed to be the guy. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I was like, God damn, I swear to God, like, I'm get some weird fucking deja vu. It, unless this cafe looks exactly like another one. Okay, okay. No, this is it. You actually end up befriending them both. Interesting. It's supposed to be the girl Nor 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 kun has been talking yeah. about. Mihara chan, got it. I'm Yagami. Come here all the time, so it's nice to finally see a new face. Oh, you're regular. Uh, wow, it's nice to meet you. Ah, I'd be young and in love. Guess I could help Nora meet Motokun out a bit. <laughs> it's refreshing to see a server who's actually enthusiastic about their job. But you're popular with the customers. <laughs> I, I wish. Unfortunately, I'm not popular inside or outside of work. Mm -hmm. Really? Never would have guessed. I'm sure you're, you at least have a boyfriend, right? Nope. But if you know any good candidates, tell them I'm accepting applications. Eat, wink, wink. And then Yagami ends up fucking this girl. And Norman is like, why, Yagami, why? So I'm a fucking player, bitch. Apparently I can date, I can actually date people in this game. That's right. We go all the way. Don't give a fuck. Sure you have no trouble finding a good guy. Unless you're the type who has crazy high expectations. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm not that picky. I have absolutely zero standards. That a girl. And just out of curiosity, on a purely pl platonic level, what kind of cu guy's your type? Hmm. He's got to have a great sense of humor and be a good conversationalist, too. So he can cheer me up anytime. Sounds about right. Well, hope he turns that up soon. <laughs> <laughs> me, too. Pray for me, Yagami san. <laughs> I like it. Just like, hi, this guy I just met, and I'm just like going in deep about like what, what her type of guy is. Yes, I'm sure most girls wouldn't immediately think that I'm asking for myself. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming, creepy guy. Bye. Okay, but seriously, I need some food. Give me your food. Hmm? Kim, you killed us all. Oh, whatever. I fucking don't care, Kim. I don't care. Let me come over to your restaurant. You're right below me, you know. I'll set fire to this fucking building, I swear to God. Oh, wait, fuck. There are two cases up there. Should probably get those started. This guy's been waiting for me for like three weeks. All right, which one are you? Yagami. Hi, I'm Yagami. Are you Ohana-san by any chance? How the fuck did you know that? Wasn't there another guy behind me that's waiting for you? I'm just that good at my job. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's me. I'm sorry for the sudden request. Yeah. No problem. I understand these things are urgent sometimes. What can I do for you? Um, I need you to find my son. Yeah. He 
His son is missing. Is he lost or kidnapped? Oh, no. Nothing of the sort. Uh, then what are we talking about here? He's playing hide and seek. And I'd like you to find him. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Hmm? Wait, what? He's hiding from He's hiding from you. Precisely. My son's name is Ayumu, and he turns six this year. I didn't think it's his favorite game right now, and he's a god at it. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but maybe you should find him, find him then? Oh, yes, I agree. But I have to begin to work right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Can your wife pitch in or anything? Nah, we divorced three years ago. I'm a single father. Fine. But all the same, is this really something you need to hire a detective for? Well, Yuma is pretty good, actually. It's always a real hassle to find him. <laughs> How deep is this rabbit hole gonna go? It's gonna leave behind like a bunch of cryptic clues. Dead bodies in his wake. Last time, he was hiding in the women's restroom, but I never, never would have never found him. How did you find him then? Yuma has a cell phone on him at all times. In case of emergencies, mostly. But he likes to send me pictures as a hint for his hiding places. Usually it's enough to go on, but I really don't have time for this today. Six-year-old sending his father hide and seek hints on this cell. Welcome to the future, I guess. <laughs> Yangmi san, I'm happy to pay your fee for this. <laughs> fee, fee for this. 80,000 yen. Will you take the job? You're gonna pay me 800 bucks to find your, your hide and seek son? You're fucking crazy. Must be making some big ass paychecks at work. Well, I guess paychecks to paycheck. Thank you. Let me just send you the hint I got from a Yumu about where he is. Thanks. No, thank you. But I have to get begin to work now. Bye. I'd find a kid playing hide and seek from his father. That's a new one. But whatever, don't care. Money's money. Army saw, thanks for this. I'll forward you the picture I got from a Yumu. Where is this? Check out anywhere that looks similar. This couldn't hurt to ask people who might have seen him too. Uh, oh, can I get a better look at it? Can I zoom in? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, I know where that is. It's the alleyway. Where all the shit was. And I think with that old man in um, Yonks Zero, training in the brawler style. Um. Oh, he's back. Cool. Hey, what's up? Hey, got a customer waiting here. Oh, welcome, sir. W wait, you're. Yeah. Y Yagami, at your service. How have you been, Noramito kun? Not bad, I guess. Let me take you to your seat. Or right this way, please. <laughs> is that the guy still waiting for me? I think he is. He's like, hello. <laughs> Dude. So I came here the other day. Miharu-chan was the one who took the care of me. Yeah. Or it was the one who took care of me. For real? Yeah, it turns out she's looking for a boyfriend right now. For real? I also asked what type of guy she's into. She likes him friendly and funny. <gasps> for real? You got to do better than saying for real all the time if you want to get, get her to notice you. <gasps> for real? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Is that for real? Yes, for real. Ugh, telling you, stop saying that. Yes, sir. For real. But I, what can I do to make myself more interesting? Well, I'm not a pickup artist, but I've developed something I like to call the Yagami system. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that a fucking acronym? Oh my god, it is. Why is for you are the real prize and A is asking lots of questions. G is to go for the thing that you do and Yagami is my name. La 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 Last but not least, I ignore her calls the next day. Or if you really like her, I invite her out again, baby. Wow, the Yagami system's incredible. Holy shit. I know. I was really bored one day and came up with it. I'll definitely give it a try. As thanks to order today is on me. And I didn't even order anything. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, dipshit. Huh. Thanks as always. Oh, good luck, Normino kun You got this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now he's going to go walk over there. I'm going to talk to this guy. and It's going to refresh this area again. Here we go. <laughs> I know. Excuse me, are you the one who requested a PI? About damn time. I've seen you sit there and talk with like three different people since I came in here. Oh yes, it must be Yangmi san then. I'm Kawada. Nice to meet you, Kawada san. What can I do for you? Well, let me start by saying I'm an editor at a small publishing company called Cloudy Skies Publishing. 
Thing is, we're struggling recently. If we don't publish a hit soon, the whole company may end up folding. It's that bad, huh? But for it's so. The rack ain't my racking my brain about it, but that's when I saw what could be our lucky break. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Have you ever heard of Takumi Katagiri? He's a mystery writer. Oh yeah. Rest the Falco Edison series, right? I've read the killing light bulb. Oh, so you know him. He's actually going to be announcing his new book soon. Now, I was wondering if you could attend the announcement event with us. The Mystery Rider strat Stratagem. Mm -hmm. Me? Why? It's more than just an announcement, you see. He's going to reward publishing rights for his book at the same time. Publishing rights? Of course. No publisher in his right mind would, wouldn't want Katagiri Sensei's newest. Whenever he writes anything new, publishers get worked into a frenzy trying to get it. I guess everyone wants a safe bet. Very much so. And the big big publishers always muscle out the smaller guys like us. That's business for you. But this time's different. He's trying to create a level playing field by for all pu the publishers. And that's tied to his announcement, I take it. Yes, exactly. I see. Well, do you know what his criteria is going to be? Apparently, Kanagiri Sensei is going to come up with a problem. The first publisher to solve it gets the gets the rights. Mm -hmm. A problem? Yes, and that's where you come in. Eh? Wait, what? <laughs> Solving problems is the detective's job, right? <laughs> Just like Falco Edison. <sighs> those are novels. In real life, even he struck, even he struggled with those cases. Yes. <laughs> Don't be such a downer. Come on, my company is going to li live or die on this. Please, Army son, no pressure. If you can do it. How does 180k sound? That's everything my company's earned this past year. Uh, dude. <laughs> If you don't end up being able to solve it, at least you tried. All right, sounds like a pretty good deal. Then it's settled. Thank you. But again, no promises I can solve this riddle of his. Of course. Well, the announcement is happening soon. Are you ready to head over? Uh, sure, dude. Sure. Let's go then. Away! We'll stand up in perfect unison. Where the fuck are we? Here we are. Looks like we ma just made it. <laughs> like we just like we're like moving just in perfect unison with each other. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed publishers, I am pleased to welcome the world-renowned author Takumi Katagiri to the venue. So he may announce his book. Oh my God, he's gonna he's gonna lock all the doors and turn this into a fucking killing game. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's actually me. You wanna come up? You might know those. You had wristbands on. You might also notice that it's got a countdown on it. First one to get five kills doesn't get blown up. So without further ado, please welcome Kanagiri Sensei! Look at this old weird, weirdly pixely jacket. Seriously, what the fuck? It looks like he's like a lower resolution than every than everything else. Seriously, look at him! Look how jaggy he is! Even his face and his glasses are jaggy. Compared to like the other characters. Weird. Let me first thank you all for coming today. I'm not usually one for this kind of extravagance, but today I have my reasons. As you know, I have a new work to announce, and I'm confident it will be as good, if not better, than the Essence series. But I'll not be my decision concerning who will publish the work at this time. Seriously, look, like you can actually see through his like hair there into his scalp. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, this guy's model is just all kinds of fucked up. It's weird. So I felt the field was a bit unfair, and this, this time I'd like to give Every publisher an equal shot. As such, I've devised this problem. Whoever can solve it will be awarded the publishing rights. You want to put your thinking cats on, everyone. Yay! Thanks, Pixel Man. This is it. It's all on your shoulders, Jeremy Son. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Allow me to give you a few more details concerning this problem we have for you. The problem solution will be the combination to this safe on stage. Katagiri Sensei's master script for this new book is located inside. <laughs> oh my god, I love how ridiculous this is. You feel you have, you've solved the problem, simply come on stage and attempt to unlock it. The safe opens, you have won the publishing rights. Now, are you all ready for the problem itself? So let's get underway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop. You figured it out. <laughs> I just got it, man. Uh, safe code is. Hmm, let me think for a sec. Oh, I gotta think about it. Okay. Just keep the message box open. Let's think about this. 
All right, so AAA equals four, CCCC equals zero. Okay, ah, uh, okay. So yeah, so the A equals one, C equals zero. So ACAC would equal two, makes sense. Uh, that would mean that B is two, D is also one. Yep, and then ABCD would equal four, so that makes sense. So so it's, uh, okay, I think it's four, one, three, four. I should be patterned, I, okay, it's fine, I got it. Four, one, three, four. Oh, I think I have it. Really? What are you waiting for? Go open the safe. Okay. Ah, see, we have a potential solution. Your name, yeah, sir. Um, I'm Yagami, the Yagami with Cloudy Skies Publishing. How confident are you, Yagami son? So pretty confident. Well, then, you may attempt to lock the safe. All right, just gotta enter the code. Code is. Okay, four, one, three. Yep, yep, that was it. That was easy. <laughs> oh, well, it opened. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wow, that's incredible. Class guys posting and solve the problem. Congra Congratulations. Seems I can trust my newest work to you, Cloudy Skies. I didn't think the problem would be solved so easily. Except to make it harder. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. No problem. Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Army Son. Our company's safe. <laughs> Glad I could help. I think I even surprised myself a little. <laughs> oh, but don't be so modest. Glad I came to you, Army Son. Here's your payment, as promised. Thank you. I would love to discuss about our contract with Katagiri Son, Sensei. So I suppose I should be off. Good luck. Yes. Thank you so much again. Excuse me. All right. Well, that was a quick and simple one. There's that was that was one and done, gone in a blaze. Oh, let's go check the fridge. See, if we got new uh, new food. Uh oh, took me over. So I put some food near us. Hamburg steak. Eat. I don't need it, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. That's some good shit. All right. We got any new cases? Uh, nope. And then yet. Oh, interesting. Clear. So th this does continue though. I, I, I beat the publisher's request one. That's what that was. This is what this is. Why not pass some time? So come back to it later. Maybe he'll, he'll do another, uh, another puzzle after all then. Now I got people in here. Oh, Yagami-san. Welcome to the beast zone. Thanks. Has this getting, been getting any better? Well, you may feel especially like you suggested. Now I feel like it's coming in from all over the place. <laughs> Fantastic. That's good to know. But still not enough. This very comrade is just going to swallow us whole. Yeah. Can you think of any other ideas? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, dropping. So just dropping prices. Just free rice refills. Just adding desserts. Uh, it's just adding desserts. Why not expand the dessert menu? That way you can attract more families with young kids as well as group of groups of girls. Help give that menu a nice touch. <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. I'm going to assist all these to him at some point. My vice is okay. Why is it they can eat here, but I can't? All right. And the girl's here. Hey, welcome back, Yagami-san. How are you? How are you? Same as always. I'll show you your seat now. So, have you found your special someone? Well, no. Haven't really met anyone new. Oh, wait. There is this other part time worker named Noromoto Moto kun that may be kind of interesting. Nice. Get in there, Nate. Noromoto kun. Come on. Fellow part timer, you say? Yep. He's kind of a loser, though. I didn't have much of an impression on him at, at first. But as we started talking, he actually seemed pretty cool. Well, isn't that a nice coincidence? Mr. Rai's been here all along. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that just yet. But it would sure be nice. Eh. Oh, God. I'm going to hit these two to fuck by the end of this. I swear to God. Thanks for the meal. See you again. Thank you for coming, Yagami-san. Slowly but surely. Oh, God. Really? That was it? Did I really accomplish anything? Just watching this shit happen in a fucking snail space. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Oh, oh Yagami-san. What's up? You finally came into the thirst for some titties? Right. Yes, case Kunza's sex shop barker. Maybe he's even seen in Hashitane. 
Uh, oh, oh, okay. I was like, I was just going to ask him and see if any of the new friends I made were going to work with for him. Actually, I'm just looking for someone. Have you seen this woman? <laughs> Can't say that I have. Um, oh, I have. Really? Where? <laughs> I'll tell you for 10K. Uh... You're trying to sell it. <laughs> Sorry about this guy, Yagmi san. He's got a nose for cash. What should I do? Got it. I got a chatter, so I might be able to find it myself. It's fine. It's 10K. I don't give a Love shit. Fine, I'll pay 10K. Thanks for doing business. I think I saw her walking down Mess Tai Boulevard a second Ooh. ago. Really? That's perfect. Fine with what I gleaned from her, her chatter. She's probably in a fast food joint on West Tai Boulevard. Okay. Uh. Which one was that even for? Was that. Oh, that's the the woman was looking for her daughter, I think. Panasuka Hashitani. Oh, that's right. The honey. That's right. Looking for the girl that took advantage of that guy, right? Who was supposedly underage and ruined that guy's career. <laughs> God, I'm getting so many cases at once. It's getting a little hard to keep track of them all. Yagami-san. Are you ready to be bothered with boobage? Mm. Uh, okay. Nope. Nobody yet. Uh, sorry, not yet. Not ready to get bombarded with boobage. There he is, okay. Okay, and then we got two cases that uh, are in here as well. Yeah, I got. Hello. Excuse me, I'm Yagami from Yagami Detective Agency. Oh, a pleasure to meet you, Yagami-san. I'm Fumi Tamayama, the one who requested you. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Mind if I sit? Sure, go right ahead. So that's job. I understand your nephew has gone missing. Hi. Yes, I'm afraid so. His name is Hideki... H Hideki Deguchi. Three years ago, he was... He left home in hopes of becoming the number one host in Kamurocho. And I haven't heard from him since. Mm. He sure says high, sides high, didn't he? A friend of mine took this recently. Oh, God. This is like a guy I beat up on a regular basis. I get the impression he's okay, but I still can't seem to reach him. And his parents. I'm sorry to ask, but they're both gone. Yes. They were in a tragic accident while Hideki was in high school. I'm the only one he's got left. He must be worried sick then. Hi. Yes, to say the least. Do you think you can find him, Yagami-san? I can try. You seem pretty good at tracking down people down. Um, there is one more thing I think you should know. It's embarrassing, but... I lent Hideki some money at one point. To the tune of 500,000 yen. 500,000? It's not exactly pocket change. Yes. He told me he'd need a nest egg to kick off living here in Tokyo, and that he'd pay it back in a year. But I couldn't bring myself to bug him about it. Now three years have flown by. Understandable. Money can be a tough subject for me family. Right, so I stay quiet. But now I'm in a situation where I could really use that money. Everything okay? Oh, yes. But well, my daughter is getting married soon. Can you really afford to pay me for this case, then? And I'd like to be able to help her out. Ah, I see. Yes. Actually, always planned that the 500000 would go towards toward her. That's why I saved it. So correct me if I'm wrong, but you're hoping I can find your nephew and get your money back in the process. Yes. It's a tough thing to ask, but... I assure you, it's not about the money. It's more important to me that he's safe. You'll be discreet about the money issue, I hope. Of course. He's your family, so I'll make sure things stay... Uh, amicable. But if he's not paying you back, there's clearly an issue. If he has it, I'll, I'll get it back somehow. Reckless aspirations. Oh, that's not it. That, that doesn't bode well. I believe you you made an offer 120,000 yen, correct? Yes. I did some research and thought that would be an appropriate amount. Great. It's settled. <laughs> that's a big chunk, man, lady. For the night, money you might need for whatever it is that you need it for. So Hideki, Hideki sent out to become the number one host in Kamurocho, huh? Guess the best place to start asking around would be Stardust. Oh. Uh, Maybe my pal from the Yakuza games is there. Assuming he didn't die in one of the later games. Um, hey, Seiya, I've got a request for you. Uh, Yakuza-san, what's up? I look for a guy. Goes by Hideki Deguchi. Where on the street is that he's, he's a host? You heard of him. Deguchi? It's not the kind of name a host would use. You know what his stage name is? Yeah. No, not really. But I've got a picture. I'll text you. For what you do, it's just a normal photo or one of his headshots. Yeah. Nah, it's a normal photo. I take it that won't work. Yeah, man. We are so done up on the job, you wouldn't even recognize us in street clothes. Ah, that's a tough break. It's the only photo I've got to go on. Are they got, like, a bunch of makeup on or something? Well, maybe someone's seen him off the shift. I'll ask around. 
Thanks. Let me know if you hear anything. Better not get my hopes up, but saying is still my best bet. See if you can pull anything, pull anything up first. Uh, okay. Oh, I got uh, you. Uh, wait a minute. That's, oh, that's right. I was, I talked to you before and she actually was like, she was like, oh, I think you're kind of cute. And I was like, wait, you're not even the girl I was making friends with, but you actually needed a case for me at some point. Oh, you might be a girl I can actually date then. I wouldn't be surprised. That's probably Kariko Kuyama. Uh, sir, I noticed you staring. Another one of Kuriko's admirers. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a case I've already started. Mm hmm? <laughs> she gets more popular every day. Uh, she's that popular, she's... huh? Oh, yeah. She's a real enchantress. Talk to her once and you'll be head over heels. <sighs> what a shame that she's married. Get too close and it'll only end in pain. Oh, is this... Oh, no, it's not Hachitani. Fuck, I've got too many cases. This guy seems to know quite a bit about Kuriko. I should dig a little deeper. About Kariko's husband. That's about Kariko's relationship with men. Her husband. Have you ever met her current husband? Uh. I spoke with him. I believe his name is Kojiro. He's a run of the middle salary man, really. He's madly in love with Kariko chan. He swings by after work every day, and she's made it makes him coffee. Mm -hmm. Goes by, by for coffee every day. So he'll show up today too. Yes. Oh, I'm sure he will. Relationship with men. So people really like Kariko Sana. Huh? Oh yeah. You should see how many customers hit on her. But if they don't do about her past. Mm -hmm. Why? What about it? Well apparently Kariko Chan is already on her fourth husband. Oh god. She's been divorced three times. Three divorces? At her age. Your husband must know about it. But would he have would he have told his mother? Apparently all three of the previous husbands ran off ran away from her. Why is that? Cause they were all almost murdered. Oh, that's right. Okay, that that this is what this is. The the almost murdered guy, right? Blake came in and was like, my son keeps I'm thinking the the devil wife, right, is trying to, to kill him. In fact, her second husband actually died. You sure all this is true? It's a little hard to believe. Okay, okay, pro I'm probably not dating this chick. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. That's the story that put this cafe on the map. Apparently there was food there was poison found in his food. And she wasn't charged. Uh... Recall, the incident happened at his workplace, so there wasn't enough proof to arrest her. Oh, but I assure you, it wasn't here at this cafe. <laughs> Thanks. I see. <laughs> I, second thought, I think I'll hold off on the cake, man. Hmm. Maybe the mother's suspicions weren't completely off the mark. Anyway, Rico Chan is clearly the kind of woman who's out of reach for most guys. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't stop me from trying. I think I could tame the devil in her. <laughs> Dude, you want a demon die, man? <laughs> I gather you're, you got your own little crush on her. What? No, she's married. I'm just saying. We'd, we'd have a good match. Better than the dull-ass husband she's got, anyway. Uh, in other words, this guy's crushing on Kariko-chan hard. <laughs> Wasn't wrong when he called her an enchantress. Oh, speak of the devil. There's her husband now. Well, better get back to work. Don't want my manager to see, see me slacking off. Maybe if I get closer, I'll be able to hear Kojiro-san's conversation. Okay, gotta eavesdrop. Let's go look at porn here. Oh, no. Hey, you're looking pretty rough, man. You under the weather? Ah. Yeah, I guess. But maybe I'm just tired. It's just been a lot, lot of stomach aches and nausea lately. Uh. Doesn't seem like coffee would be the best cure then. You must really love your wife. <laughs> I beg to differ, Osawa. Coffee made, made with love is the best medicine I can ask for. Mm. Stomach pains and nausea line up with what Shizu-san Shizu told me. Hey, baby cakes. Here you go. One cup of hot coffee. Black like you like it. Thanks. Thanks, Kiriko. John. Oh, is so you have a guest? Nice to meet you. I'm here, Osawa. Nah. This guy's incredible, Kuriko. He's from our ad agency. He's done all kinds of commercials, you know. Incredible! So like you really know your stuff. You have to be so clever to work on ads these days. I can see it in your eyes. They're quite clever and very lovely. Mm. <laughs> lovely, you say? Oh, uh, you think so? Oh, Kochan, why don't we invite Hirasawa-san over to our house for dinner? <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. Kuriko's a lovely cook. And she's gonna fuck you good later. 
you work out the details then. I'll be looking forward to seeing you, Hirasawa-san. Uh, of course, I'd be happy to come. Uh, Enchantress indeed. She was flirting with that guy with, with her husband sitting right there. This guy does not give a shit. Is he that confident or just dense? Does he have the slightest bit concerned? Maybe he's in on it too. Maybe he's, maybe he's been killing him, helping her kill people. And then get the money off the dead bodies. Shizu-san suspects Kiriko of poisoning his food, considering he drinks coffee here daily. It'd be pretty tough to poison coffee, but I should check it out, just in case. Get like a sample or something? Oh. Wow. But first, Mr. Kitty, yes, you are here. I hear you, Mr. Kitty. Uh, Definitely in this direction. Oh, there you are. You are right below me, Mr. Kitty. Gotta get a good angle here. Oh, look, a cat. Hi, Mr. Kitty. All right. Have a look-see. Hmm? It's the water that Kojiro-san's friend was drinking. Wait, he came to a cafe and only ordered water. What a cheap ass. <laughs> he makes such big waves in an ad agency. He's probably making big money, too. How uh... stingy can he be? He can never be friends with a guy like that. Fuck him. That's right. I got three SP for that. For judging that guy harshly. Hmm? Hmm. What's so this white powder? Sugar. Uh, no way it's sugar. It's sugar. Salt. Uh, no way it's sugar. Something's off about this. Kurosawa made a point of saying it was black coffee when she brought it out. In that case, what's this powder? Could be anything. Wow. I see you, Kiriko. You're evil. I know it. Is there any way I can test it or something? Do a lab test. Something is a something is a strong scent here. It's supposed to be like garlic, but could it be poison? Let's see. If she knows he come here to drink coffee every day. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be a little more careful about it. Stir it in, lady. If you're gonna poison a guy, at least wipe it off the rim of the glass. Isn't it possible she could be mixing tiny doses of poison in each cup? And that would explain why he feels so ill. This is bad. The guy could be in serious danger soon. I can he talk to the guy? Hopefully he hasn't gotten far. Hello? Oh, there's Seiya. Hey, Yagami-san. You're in luck. I think I got a lead on your Deguchi guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. I haven't even left the cafe yet. <laughs> Sounds like he turned up at a club where a friend of mine works. Said he showed up claiming that one day he'd be the emperor of the night and ended up quitting. Like, the next week. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you know? He wasn't getting along with his co-workers. But that was two years back now. Any idea where he might have gone after that? I couldn't tell you if he's still a host, but they're saying that they've seen him on Pink Street. Is he a home homeless or something? Pink Street, eh? Well, thanks for the info. That helped a ton. Did he jump to a different club on Pink Street? Maybe he found a new line of work. Being a dirty homeless man. Lady, what have you done? Some people with big hearts need to come here. Oh, that's what she... Oh, that's why she was saying... Like, before she was saying, like... It's like, you're, you seem pretty well off. You're kind of hot or whatever. That's why. That's why she was saying that to me. This is going to tie back to this case. She's a gold heir, and then she murders him after she gets the money. Or murders him, and then he gets the money. I don't know. Something like that. All right, I've got 2,400 here. Let me buy some shit. All right, let's do enhance uh, X boost level two. Sweet. All right, Kim. How's business now? Yeah, that'd be sound. Now we're to beef, son. Is he any better? Well, we did flush out our dessert menu. Now we're rolling sugar addicts. We're just good for business. <laughs> Put my mind at ease. Still enough. We still need more. Okay. I think this is just like. So it's rice refills. Well, I get free refills on rice. This yakiniku with rice and go and rice go practically hand in hand. I think a lot of people would appreciate some rice in the house. Besides, would it also be better for sales if the customers filled up on rice? It's a lot cheaper than meat. <laughs> well, okay. Booga, booga. Okay. This is just. Yeah. I'm just choosing them all. Well, my amateur advice. Probably. <laughs> the way this is going. Uh, how appropriate for Kim San to have the most boring of fucking friendship events. Welcome, sir. Or, welcome, sir. Use this voice a lot today. Yo, no, Mito, Mito kun. I'll take a coffee. Same as usual. Hi, Yangmi san. I'll show you your seat. Too much Larry voice this episode. So, seems like you and me, Haru chan, are getting along pretty well. Huh? What do you mean? When I came in the other day, Miharu chan told me she's been having fun talking to you lately. <laughs> really? No way. Fuck yeah. Man, I'm glad I took your advice. Did you go on that date yet? A date? No. 
No idea where to, where to take um, her. You can think of somewhere for me? Dude, why don't you just ask her yourself? Come on. Come on, bitch. On our first date? That'd be super lame. You sure about that? Yeah. This situation, a man's got to play smart match the lady's preference. Okay, but do you even know the lady's preference to begin with? Hi. Nope. That's why I was going to ask if you could find out for me. Wait, come on, man. What is this? A fucking game of telephone here. Wait, I have to do this. What happened to all that, all that man talk? Why is even the bravest man he's back up? Please, will you be my wingman? I'll pick up your tab again. Uh, I'm not even ordering anything, you asshole. Fine, but don't expect too much, all right? You're awesome, man. Thanks. I'm getting two friends with one dumb event here. At least I'm getting an SP. A good amount of SP from this. At some point, I gotta talk to that guitar lady. Ladies been playing her guitar for like entire month. And then this guy's just hanging out, uh, waiting for me. Hey, you're Kojiro Kuyama-san, right? Can I talk to you for a sec? <clears throat> Who are you? I'm Yagami, the detective your mother hired. <sighs> oh, right. Mom did mention something about that. She could be so dramatic. Yeah. Well, her worries may not be as unfounded as you think. Mm. What do you mean? It's going to have to be convincing. How should I lead into this? About her second husband's untimely death. About coffee powder. Uh, about her second husband's untimely death. So you're aware your, your wife has been divorced three times, aren't you? Oh. Yeah, I'm aware. I didn't tell my mother that, though. Were you also aware that her second husband died of poisoning? <laughs> what? Guessing that's new to you, then. Mm. Well, I'm sure it wasn't something she wanted to talk about. That cup of coffee you just drank. Did you add sugar by any chance? Yeah. No, I took my coffee black. Mm. Well, that's a bit strange, because there was a white substance on the edge of your cup. And to make matters worse, the smell of garlic, which is not far off from a poison called arsenic. <laughs> arsenic? I haven't run any tests or anything, but I understand you've been feeling ill for some time. Am I right? You should know, nausea and stomach pains are symptoms consistent with the ingestion, ingestion of arsenic. <sighs> no way. It, it could be coincidence, right? L listen, detective, I know what you're getting at, but I trust my wife, and I'm not going to stop. You just have a death wish, don't you? Just like I'm going to get through to him. Well, I'm just going to have to slug him in the face. Boom! Is it true that you've been in a series of unfortunate accidents lately, sir? Have you considered the possibility that someone could be causing, causing them? You're a persistent one, aren't you? That said, uh... Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, sometimes I might commute home from work. I feel like I'm being followed by a man. That's interesting. When was the most recent time you felt that? Mm. Mm, let's see. Oh, I remember now. It was the one day I headed straight home without visiting Kiriko-chan at the cafe. In other words, on days Kiriko-san is off duty. And do you ever feel endangered when you're being followed? Well, I wrote it all off, but I did notice that a brick fell from a window once and I got pushed into the street. <laughs> Wait, what? You run all that stuff off as coincidence. You don't think that the stalker might have something to do with it? Mm. But who wouldn't be? Who would be out to get me? I don't know, but I think maybe it's time time we find out. But how? Well, the ideal way would be to lure him into a place where he thinks you're alone. Okay. How about maybe I could beat him into an alley? Am I gonna I'm, am I gonna be following this guy? Huh? Are you sure you want to take that Hi. risk? We'll prove my wife is innocent in all this. I'll do anything. Fair enough. Then I'll follow the stock from behind. Yep. But can you give me more details on the guy you think is following you? Well, he was smallish. About 5'2". He wore a hoodie and sunglasses on his face. That's pretty suspicious. Where's the company you work for located, Kojiro-san? It's called Kido Electric. Right here in Kamurocho. So I should just find the nearest alley, right? right. Yeah, that'd be great. Don't don't try to drag him too far. And also get a gun or a knife or something. Because I get very easily distracted by lots <laughs> by other side cases. It's like, uh, oh hey, look, there's a lady to go find. Yagami son? Yagami son blah, blah, blah. Nice. Kutra saw is off from work. I hear I hear a cat. Kutra son, you just need to act natural. Start walking when I give the signal. Got it. Okay, now it's time to find our guy. I'm going into yup. But I heard the cat. He's right behind me. Uh. Skitty, I hear you. Is it, uh. Oh, no, he's right there. 
These guys are everywhere. I tell you what. Look at cat. Uh, okay. Cap and sunglasses. Oh, fuck. I was like, up there. Oh, yes, she there, that's him. Is that a guy or a girl? Kodra-san, I've got the guy on my sides. Start walking and don't look back. Okay, but you'll save me if something goes wrong, right? Maybe? I guess we'll find out. All right, here we go. That is a tiny little person there. I really think that's actually a girl. That might be the... That might be his wife, maybe. Follow him, thinking up ways to get his ass killed. I wonder if this is going to just be like, yeah, it's just his wife trying to kill him, or if there's going to be like some twist to this, you know? Oh, going down that alley. Here we go. Time to leave this kid the fuck out. Boom. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, oh actually, he's a guy. Just a little tiny dude. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait, are you the other waiter at the cafe? Oh, fucking was. I, I, I was getting a feel like, like, hmm, maybe he was planting stories or ideas. I was like, the only thing was he didn't act, that guy didn't have a name. So I was thinking, well, so I was thinking, no, no maybe not. Cause it's just some generic NPC. I feel like if it were, if it were significant, they would have given him a name, but. No, maybe it was him after all. Oh, there's his name. Me, me not. My name is Kuhn. You work with Kiriko chan, right? <sighs> Explains how easy it was to get poison in your coffee, Kodro san. <laughs> Shit, you're dead. <laughs> Yagami san. Stay back and go call the cops. That was actually him all along. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Throw in your man. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> What are you dumbasses gonna learn? Like <laughs> he spins in circles when I kick him like that. Nah. Why? Why are you trying to kill Kodra's son? Yeah, that's right. Cause he want to get want to get Ko Kiriko or whatever. Cause in the way between me and Kiriko, John. In the way. What's your relationship with her anyway? My relationship. It's destiny. Destiny, we would be together. Huh? What? Steam God, the Kiriko child will be mine. Stop your squirming. <laughs> <laughs> he says that he hasn't even grabbed a hold of him yet. Go me, damn you! Yagami san, are you okay? When the world just happened. Mm. Not completely sure myself, but I'm sure the cops are going to take their time finding out. Going to jail, dirtbag. Crazy ass people. What is wrong with this city? Why do we just breed the worst of the worst? But then occasionally we get th those golden gems like Kiryu and Yagami, right? Who he helped to balance it all out. Well, apparently Kiriko Chan rejected the, the, that waiter three years back. She's been stalking her ever since and getting jobs at the same place she does. Didn't that bother Kiriko Chan? <sighs> well, people confess their love to her all the time. She didn't think much of it, I guess. That's a unique problem to have. <laughs> Guess he finally snapped, though. Convinced himself I was the problem. That certainly explains why I had so many near-fatal encounters. And he kept surviving them, so he finally resorted to poison. Do you think he killed her second husband as well? I'd be willing to bet on it. Oh, okay. So that part was actually true. I thought maybe he just lied to me about it. I suppose we'll find out after they interrogate him. He's probably trying to kill every guy who got between him and Kiriko, John. <laughs> And here I was suspecting Kiriko-san. Oh god, I'm glad I was that, like, I was like, I was thinking, couldn't just, is it really just gonna be just straight up, it is, it is that, that chick? No, that was, that's cool, I'm, I'm glad they ended up doing, uh, and it happened a bit of a twist to it. Although, honestly, you still probably could pretty easily have predicted that. Like, like I said, it was on my mind. The only reason I, I didn't think it would end up being him was because, uh, they didn't give him a unique name. He just ended up staying a, a nameless NPC, so, until the end. Such a horrible mother. It's not true, Mom. He didn't get get a chance to get to know her yet. I think she's easily misunderstood. Even though she was still flirting and golding with your friend there. I can see why. But I'm impressed, Kojiro-san. Your trusting Kiriko-san didn't waver for a moment. Of course not. I'm her husband. 
Yagami-san, thank you for getting to the bottom of this. No problem. Uh, no problem. I hope you two have a wonderful future together, free of accidents. And hopefully she doesn't divorce you and steal all your money. All right. Got any more food in here? Uh, oh, hamburger steak again. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's going to change until I eat it, so. Um, okay. Anything new? Uh, oh, another mystery event. Yeah, Kawada again. Uh, good day, Yagami Sama. This is Kawada from the Cloudy Sky Publisher. Thank you for your help the other day. I've contacted you again in hopes to ask you f ask for help once more. I'll wait you at Cafe Majore on Nakamichi Street. Could you please come by when you have time. All right. Yep, I knew it. I was like, he's like, he said, next time I'm gonna, I got to do a tougher puzzle. I'm like, is there going to be a next time? Yeah, apparently there is. <laughs> like, every time I come back here, it's always more and more crowded. Yagami Sama. Yes, I want a beef son. Okay, we did the free rice full slice dish, and now we have way more customers. <laughs> Is that right? Put some my knees. Slow enough, yeah. we still need more. What do we do? Well, I dropped the price a little. Our rice is pretty pricey as it is, so drop price on your end should help your place stand out. It'll be the other option. <laughs> oh, you really know your stuff? Okay. All right. Hello there. Oh, welcome back, Yagami san. Hey there, Mihara chan. Ready to be seated? Please follow me. Oh, yeah. How's it going with that co-worker you mentioned that one time? It's going, I guess. We do talk whenever we're on the same, same shift. But nothing's moving beyond that, huh? No, but at least we have fun talking. He's just generally interested in me. It says some pretty funny stuff. Okay. Have you guys, like, gone out at, gone out anywhere? No, not yet. I see, I see. So, if he was to ask you out, let's say, what would be your ideal time together? You mean on a date? I guess a normal one would be fine. No, where specifically? Define normal. Okay, how about going to look at dolphins in the aquarium? You like dolphins, huh? They are cute. Aren't they? They have these sparkly little eyes and adorable little flippers. Oh, I could just die from the cuteness. <laughs> huh, sounds like someone really has, uh, really likes your marine animals. Oh, uh, I'm trying to say is it'd be nice to go to an aquarium with a guy I really like. Dolphins are now. Well, I have a funny feeling you'll be able to very soon. Call me psychic or whatever. <laughs> You're joking, right? Don't say just random things. <laughs> Again, I feel like most girls would be like, it, it, Is it you? <laughs> Are you creeping on me? What's what's going on? <laughs> now nah, I'm totally serious. Honestly, I hope your predictions come true, Yakumi-san. Or honestly, just think, Oh yeah, this guy's talking to the other dude. Thanks for the meal, Mihara chan <laughs> See ya. How do you got dog? Is that my star? You're just gonna ignore me again, huh? Yeah, I'm not ignoring you, dummy. All right, let's go solve another puzzle, right? How are you, Kawada-san? Oh, Yagami-san. Apologies for calling you all the way out here. Don't worry. So how's that novel you want selling? Actually, we haven't been able to publish it yet. Huh? Why not? I thought you said this one would fly off the shelves. Yes, but we have to publish it first, and we've hit a snag in that department. What happened? I read the book, but I can't help but feel that it's incomplete. My point is, I think he's going to write a sequel. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. But wouldn't he have told you something about it if he was? Well, he should have, but he didn't. Either way, I can't publish this without whatever's coming next. And just as I suspected, Kana Kiri Sensei is, talking, is already talking about his next work. It's got to be the sequel. <laughs> wow, that took a lot of five seconds. Guess that's plausible. Ooh. Wait, don't tell me that's why you reached out to me. <laughs> Very sharp, yagami son. It's another event with another problem to solve. Here we go again, Mr. Ryder's Gambit. Oh, great. Is you were with me on this, Yagami Sun. I'll pay you even more than last time. 210,000 yen. How's that sound? <laughs> Fine, I'll give you the Majma thumbs up. If I can do it. I don't know if I can, but I suppose I'll give it my best shot. That's all I can ask. Ask. Thank you very much. Let's head over. Are you ready? Let's, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's head over. Oh, God. Flickering out of existence. And they got the same venue, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can afford for this. Why change what's working, you know? I don't guess. Thank you all for attending the next event for Kanagiri Sensei's latest book announcement. <laughs> Do you think it's going to end here? Will there be a third one? <laughs> Probably a third one, honestly. First few, few words, the legend himself. The stage is yours, Kanagiri Sensei. Are you still all pixely? Uh, yes, you are. God damn. Stands us so much. No anti-aliasing for you, son. Thank you all for coming in again. 
As you know, I'm awarded my last book to a publisher who can solve the problem I presented last time. I'm pleased that this gave me the opportunity to work with a publisher I'd never have considered otherwise. In fact, it was so inspiring, I've managed to complete my book next book ahead of schedule. Considering how well it worked, I would like to award it to a publisher who can solve my next riddle. Do your best, everyone. And thank you. How oh, brilliant! It's just fucking brilliant! <laughs> Yagmi is big, big open palms clap there. <laughs> okay, Yagmi Sock, get those juices flowing. You're ready to announce the problem, everyone. But first, the rules. Just as before, our problems will be a code that we enter in the safe. So I find master scripts, okay? Alright, here's the thing. Another doozy. What are your thoughts, Army Son? Alright. One 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 times two is three. Two 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 times X times zero is one. This is definitely a bit tougher. I just need a sec. This is uh it's kind of a hard one actually. Think about it. Let's see here. These are multiplication problems. There must be a pattern among the answers. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, it's the number of... Oh, no, I get it. I get it. It's the number of... um, Of the number of numbers, basically. So, 111 times 2 is is 222, right? That's 1, 2, 3. There's, two, there's three 2s in there, right? Three numbers. 222 times 0 is going to give you 0. That's one number in there. So... 11 times 99 is going to give you a four digit number. It's, it's the number of digits basically. And then three times four gives you 12. That's two digits. So, all right. In that case, so it's uh, the first one's three. The second one's four. The third one's one. And the last one's two. So <laughs> it's funny. It's basically exactly what it wrote there. It's just the exact same number. So three, three, four, one, two. All right. I got it. Get a shot while I still remember it. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two. Yep, got it, baby. <laughs> it's funny, it basically gave you the exact answer in the order that they put it out. Incredible, yeah. Yagami, Yagami, Solomon, Cloudy, Skies, Publishing is done again. Did it start the multiplication answers? Form an answer. Three, four, one, two. Um, impressive. Looks looks like cloudy skies will be getting two of my books. You're really something, Yagmi san. Next time I'll have to do better. Oh god damn it. Uh next time. <laughs> You're a genius, Yagmi san. Yep, there's gonna be a third one of these. You just knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. Seriously, dude. <laughs> Thank you again, Yagmi san. You're an incredible detective. <laughs> it was dumb luck. But also amazing, I'd be getting more cases. You're much too modest. You pulled us off, off twice in a row, and that can't be coincidence. I'm just glad I could help. Thank you very much. Here's your fee. You've earned it. Thank you. I must discuss with Katagiri Sensei, so I'll head off. Ah, right, man. Oh, boy. I'll make a bank from these, though. Why do you say there'd be a next time? Because <laughs> there'll be a next time, Yagami! Are you been paying attention? He's always coming threes. So I'm guessing I'm going to see one up here on the board then, all right? Like once you completed this one, I don't have to for my uh, landlady. Uh, yep. <laughs> Why not pass some time? Oh, I do have something I can buy. A steric secret. Sure, why not? You know, I've got a decent amount of money. I might as well go buy some, uh, some of those hog bombs. Can I see my see? Hog bomb. All for a poultry 700,000 yen. All right, growth extract, and then hug bomb it up. All right, boom, baby. 4,355, right off the bat. All right, I'm going to use that to buy badass fridge. And that way, at least I can uh, buy more of these uh, hug bombs at once as well. And we'll get uh, Dauntless Resolution. Most enemies will be unable to stun you while performing a countless resolution. Actually, no, let's go. Uh, let's do the destructive one where I can break through an enemy scar. That sounds more useful. All right, guys, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. We're getting some of these uh, side cases done uh, fairly quickly, I think. And they're pretty good. Some of them are interesting. Some are <laughs> some, of the, some, of, some of the friendship events they definitely seem like they're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel for creativity. But it uh, looks like we're almost done with them. So 
Uh, at least for the friendship stuff. The side cases, eh, we still got a few left, but, but I'm like, they at least have some interesting, like, twists and turns to them. But, um, anyway, guys, oh, God, there's people coming. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe for not already become P Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.